Welcome back. This is Archie Tovar with the Medici Thetis. We're going to continue the cross face cradle. This time we're going to be flat on our belly. That's where your opponent ended up. After a scramble, he ended up bowing out. And it's going to do some cross face cradles. All right, we go. So from here, same thing, you always want to be in control and start looking for your move, right? And see what he opens up. In this case, he's going to open up a near side cradle, right? So all of a sudden, his leg comes across, and I notice that, so I start working for an inside cradle from the bottom position, right? The back of my elbow here starts going towards his ear and crunching, crunches the head towards my knee, or towards his knee as well. At this point, I start flipping my hand underneath, snake it in, and start making it uncomfortable for him, right? So this right hand now comes and attacks his leg. My head comes into the rib cage so that I can crunch him in like in a corner, like a bow and arrow almost, right? But, but this cradle here is called the near, near side cradle. Come underneath, block my hands, and I'm gonna take his back to the mat by pushing him forward. Same thing, nothing changes right from earlier. I can stay here, pin, I can release his hand, Keep the neck, land here, look for submission, come to the belly, come to a full mile. Okay? Good job. So, cross face, near side. The guy gives me his leg, I start coming across, push my elbow, come underneath, get the leg, I make sure that I'm in a good pace, head in the rib cage, and push forward. Okay. All right. So the next one is a cross face far side. Same technique, same analogy as as, as when he was on his parterres. This time he's flat. I have weight on him, and he gives me the far side cradle. I see his leg come across. I said, "Cool." Cross face. Grab the back of his tricep. Come across. Bring his head inside, step in with my right leg, come in, come in with the arm, and big step. All right? Start controlling your body. You rest me, walk down, come out, control. Okay? Cross face, far side. Ready to get the leg. I said, oh shoot, there it is. Get my hand inside, lock up my hand. At this point, I'm grabbing my own wrist and I'm pushing. I can control the body here, right? I can go wherever I want. Here, start punching, release. Nice cross face, bob wire, pull. Okay, good job. All right. So, the next one. His cross face, I'm gonna force it from the bottom position here, right? So he's just laying down, not giving me anything. So I'm looking for the cross face cradle. I first come across, jump between his legs here, and with my knees, start keeping his leg up, forcing the cradle in here. Hand underneath, take your step, and come back. Nothing changes, you're just forcing this cradle. Right? In control. Good job. <clears throat> um, so these moves work real well when they're in the top position or parts here or bottom going to that. Cross face and your side. Comes in. Good job. Alright. Cross face, far side. Okay? So you're looking for your opponent to give you something, and, you, and if it's not there, you force it. Like in this case, cross face, cradle.
Good job. All right. So those were uh, moves, cross face cradle, cross face near side cradle. Uh, pretty powerful moves. Real good control once you get your hands locked. Your opponent ain't going too many places, but where you direct your opponent to go to from those cradles. Um, on some of those cradles, you may have heard suicide cradles or not, but you can go across outside cradle, kind of roll over, and you still end up in control. There's a few ways to roll over, but again, these are fundamentals. We're not going to get that crazy and, and that advanced. So, cross face cradle, get your fundamental, and you'll be good. Perfect, thanks for that.